Hello guys, so this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Roxanne. Okay, I'll be teaching you how to play the chorus section. It goes like this, give you a preview, check it out. Okay, so it's actually very easy. You can see there's like only two um, parts to actually learn because one of the parts actually is played three times. It's like part one is the same as part two and part four, and then you just have to learn part three. Okay, so just part one and part three, and then there you have it. Okay, so let's learn this part one first, the very important part because it appears three times in this section. Okay, right hand starts on the C sharp here, middle C, go up an octave C, C sharp here. The C sharp down to F sharp. Back up to C sharp, B, A, B, up to five E's, one, two, three, four, five, two C sharps, two B's, and then A. And that's it for the right hand for this first part. Very important, so practice it a few times. So C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B, A, B, up to E, 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 C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A. That's it for the right hand, okay? Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are very important because all parts are these four chords, okay? So B minor seven, which is a four note chord, B, D, F sharp, A. Next chord is E seven, which is another four note chord. It's E, G sharp, B, D. And then next one is A major seven, which is another four note chord, A, C sharp, E, G sharp. And then D major seven, which is another four note chord, which is D, F sharp, A, C sharp. So with these four chords in mind, so B minor 7, E7, seven, A major 7, and D major 7. Turn together, goes like this, right hand starts, F sharp and B minor 7 together. B and E7 together. E and A major 7 together. Second B and D major 7 together. And that's it for this first part. Let's do it again, so it goes together. So make sure to practice this a lot because this part appears a lot of times in this chorus. Okay, and then the second part, as I said before, is exactly the same as the first part, so repeat it. Now, moving on to the third part, which is the other part that's different. Okay, right hand goes like this, it's pretty easy to learn. It goes C sharp, C sharp, B, A, B, down to E, and then back up to B, C sharp, B, A, B, E, and repeat that six note phrase just then. So back to B, C sharp, B, A, B, E, and repeat it for a third time. Like that. This is pretty easy. There's like two, like, um, I guess, motives here. So the first one is just a tiny bit different with double C sharp starting off. So two C sharps, B, A, B, E. And then it's pretty much the same thing, but uh, instead of two C sharps, it's B, C sharp, okay? And then repeat it for three times, second time, and then the third time. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have the same four chords as the uh, first part. So just B minor 7, E7, seven, A7, seven, major 7, and D major 7. Okay? Turn together, it goes like this. Really simple. It's on every, uh, you know the sixth note, like, uh, I guess, pattern? It's on every fifth note you play with the chord together. So... Together. Together. Like that simple okay so every fifth note of the six notes kind of like phrase okay so and that's it for the third part and then the fourth part as I said it's exactly the same as the first part so just back to and that's it so back to back all four parts we've learned in this lesson let's recap it and play back to back like this check it out Stuff. So yeah, once you get all these melody and chords all good, you can start to add other improvisations to make it more interesting if you want. So left hand you can do like octave, arpeggio patterns, rhythmic patterns. 
is. That kind of thing, okay? And right hand, you kind of harmonize it based on the chords. So you can do something like this. Pretty awesome tune to learn and if you want to learn more of these very chill and awesome like uh, melodies go ahead you can search up the channel and see if you can find other songs you want to learn but anyways that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages meme songs video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.